Hey guys, Pase Baller here. We are now on the 7th game, or 7th prediction for December 10, 2021 NBA Game Day. This is the game between Detroit Pistons uh, with a record of 4 wins and 20 losses going up against New Orleans Pelicans with a record of 7 wins and 20 losses. Uh, this will happen 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, so that will be 9 a.m. here in Manila. Uh, well, before we start, again, I'm just inviting everyone, for those who have not subscribed yet, to our YouTube account. As a baller, please click on that subscribe button below. Also, include that bell logo so that you will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. All right. Um. As always, uh, this is a hard. Uh. This is a hard prediction to make. Um. You know, if two teams, two bad teams, are actually going up against one another, you just don't know what's gonna happen. Really, man. So, uh, it's almost uh. You know, analyzing the the the, the offense, the defense won't matter anymore because again, these are two bad teams. New Orleans Pelicans, they are at, at, uh, at number, well, they are actually ranked number 15 in the Western Conference with 7 and 20. Uh, but for their past 10 games, they've won 4. Uh, that's the silver lining there. Um, approaching this game, they have lost back to back. For Detroit Pistons, man, they are also number, so they're the battle of the last ranks of the East and the West. This is interesting. Uh, Detroit Pistons is, a, is having a record of 4 wins and 20 losses. And for their past 10 games, they have lost nothing. I mean, they have won nothing. 0 and 10. 0 and 10, man. So they are in a 10-game losing streak approaching this game. Ooh. And um, looking at the, uh, I'm looking at the injury list. Uh, Kyra Lewis Jr. is actually hurt. And he would not be playing for New Orleans, by the way. And for Detroit Pistons, um, of course, they don't have Zion yet. Uh, for Detroit Pistons, um, it's still the same. Uh, Kelly Olenek and Smith, they are still both out. Now, I was actually surprised when I checked on the uh, spread here. Because uh, upon checking on the spread, it's a uh, minus 6.5 for New Orleans Pelicans. I'm not surprised that uh, the minus is with the New Orleans, considering you know that they've won lately. Um, but the minus... It's actually minus six now as we speak. Minus six for New Orleans. Um, I don't know if you've watched the game of Detroit Pistons uh, a couple of nights ago. Um, Detroit Pistons, you know, fought uh, like they almost, you know, they, they, they actually forced an OT, right? Um, and they were there. They were they, they were doing their best. Um, that was against the uh, Washington Wizards, a very good team. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to take New Orleans. A minus six on this because again both are bad teams and I can see and I somehow I can actually sense Detroit Pistons um, uh, nearing their uh, win and uh, nearing uh, nearing that uh, slump that they're having to be broken but uh I'm not saying that they will win right now but the minus again I'm not comfortable with that um, minus six nah I'm going with Detroit Pistons I don't know if you guys have watched that game I, I did uh, Kate Cunningham is just starting to show how uh, how he was actually chosen as the number one and why he was chosen the number one pick. He's starting to gain confidence. He's starting to improve his form and outside shooting at that. And he's also having confidence to go and drive to the basket. Um, so, yep, my pick on this one would simply be Detroit plus six. I'm quite confident, uh, you know, with that, you know, with that amount of um, uh, spread for Detroit. Pistons plus six. Peace out, pase love, and God bless.